Welcome back to Arise Review. They call it the Grexit, the increasingly real possibility that Greece might exit the European Union. Well, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras will join leaders of 18 other Eurozone leaders in an emergency summit tomorrow. He's meeting with his own cabinet today to discuss the looming deadline for paying back loans. Well, on Friday, he made a surprise trip to St. Petersburg, where he connected with Vladimir Putin. And plans are moving forward for a pipeline through Greece to deliver Russian gas to Western Europe. Well, Giacomo Santangelo is an economist with Fordham University, and welcome to the show. Uh, it's always good to see you, especially here on Father's Day. How, how dire do you think it is right now? We've, we've talked about this a lot on this show, I, I think, this exit. I think... As far as how dire it is, <clears throat> it's, it's really more of a political uh, uh, grandstanding than anything else. Uh, the, the way that the European Union and the European Monetary Unit was set up to begin with, all of the nations, in order to qualify, had to meet certain standards. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so there would be some sort of stability amongst all of the countries economically. None of the countries made it, but you couldn't have turned to Germany and France and Italy and said, well, you can't come in. So by the time Greece got around and Greece did not meet those standards, once uh, uh, the, the loans had to be given out for multiple nations in order to stabilize their economies or at least make it seem like their economies were stable, uh, Greece turned around and said no. Uh, well, but, but perhaps, though, so, Giacomo, isn't this more than the political pandering here? Because Greece is indeed in dire straits. The economy, many of the economies are in dire straits. But it's not, not as Greece. much as Greece, though. I mean, we're talking about unemployment well, at an all-time high. Many of the young people are yes. out of work. Yes. And, and, and who holds most of their debt? I think it was Germany holds it. Yes, their... but a majority of the... Look, Greece is a lot worse off today mm -hmm. than it was when austerity started. And... Right now, the Greek government is pressing on the fact that you have two options. Either we pay back the money or we develop, but we can't do both. All right, well, how rigid is the deadline for Greece to repay its debt? Well, on paper, it's very rigid, but we'll see tomorrow if, uh, in fact, anyone actually stands right, by well, I, I get, Okay, well, you know, we're reading the tea leaves here, mm -hmm. looking to the crystal ball into the future. None of us really know it, but what do you think will happen? Greece at can't meetings? leave. They can't leave. Greece can't leave because... The only way the European Union works if, is if no one can get out. If you start letting Greece out, then Spain may say next, oh, oh, wait, we don't have to stay? Well, we'll go too. Okay. I mean, we're, we're going to be talking about summer blockbusters later yes. on in the show here, but this could indeed be a summer blockbuster if there is no deal. The question is, if there is no deal, and you say there, they, there will be a deal, what would no deal mean, in, in your opinion? No deal would mean that Greece would go back to uh, the drachma, uh, which, which would be unstable. Uh, people in Europe would and all over the world would lose confidence in the Greek market. Uh, no deal would mean Greece leaving the European Union and possibly other nations turning and saying, we would like to leave as well. Greece is the birthplace of democracy, and they're being subjected to, to rules and laws that right. the people don't want. And I'm going to ask you about this whole thing here. Maybe a surprise to some of us about this pipeline mm -hmm. that be going through. How did this deal come about, and what might that mean economically for Greece? Well, again, I don't feel Greece can leave. I don't feel that Greece uh, or any of the European countries have the ability to to um, force Greece into paying, and I think... But, but hold on a second here. Could Putin be the trump card in all this? I think Putin is being used as a lever in order to get Europe to take Greece seriously and forgive the debt, because repayment is not absolute. In, in years past, other countries have been forgiven their debt by the IMF, so all this right. is not the end of the world. But real quickly, once again, yes. here with this pipeline and Putin being involved, yes. you're saying he's being used here, but obviously he's more than a pawn in this whole situation with this pipeline going through. This, 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 this has to mean something in terms of helping Greece out in some form or fashion. I think with all of the nations of Europe voting in more mm -hmm. nationalist uh, governments and with nationalist parties in each of the countries mm -hmm. uh, growing, uh, with, with uh, uh, all of these sanctions being put on them by the European Central Bank, I think Vladimir Putin be and Russia being used as a lever and, right. and as, uh, uh, you know, well, uh, that kind of thing is is appropriate. We'll have to leave it there. Putin's yes. saying he might lend some money to a Greece. I'm getting his hands and stuff. Giacomo Santangelo, thank you so much. Huh? Okay. Pleasure to be here.